John McEnroe, here we, here's uh, Aaron Rodgers on the cart in a boot. You're always kind of known for your calm demeanor. How did you react to seeing this? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I said back way back when, once, uh, I believe it was, you cannot be serious. Um, I've been told by my wife never to say that again. But I've got to say that when I saw that, I definitely screamed that as loud as I could. Uh, you can't make this up. This is uh, beyond belief. Uh, we felt, felt snake bitten for so long. Um, you remember the similarities with Brett Favre when he came in like 15 years ago. He was a similar age. There was high hopes. He was one of my favorite players of all time. Never missed a game. Was always dressing up. And then he had a great start and was 8-3. and three. Then he got hurt. So now... You just look at Aaron Rodgers. I went and interviewed him a couple days ago. The guy got me believing. I mean, he just felt like he got it more than Brett. You know, Brett never sort of felt like, to me at Ford least, that, was you know, he wanted to be part of the, the city, and, you know, get out line. there and, Second you know, down. be seen. And, and Aaron was doing all the right things. So this is, uh, this is depressing. But I will say that thanks for having me. I love your show. Uh, I love what you do. Um, I try to... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I've tried to do the same, wanted ESPN to do the same type of thing with my brother, but they said it's already been done by the Mannings. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. They're doing a great job. So let us do it. Let me and my little bro do it. No doubt. And John, speaking of that, you know, we, uh, uh, this past weekend, Coco Golf won the youngest American woman to win the U.S. Open since Serena Williams. She was at the Giants game last night. I got to spend some time with her on the field. Uh, she's an awesome, obviously she's a, uh, she's a Dolphins fan and I'm trying to make her a Giants fan. I saw you all weekend when the U S Open with your Jets hat on. Are you trying to make her a Jets fan? There's no challenge on the play due to the ruling of forward progress. I would certainly Second give, down. you know, an effort if I were able to be around her more, uh, have only met her a handful of times. She seems like a great girl. She's great for the game. I have a tennis academy just a few minutes from where I live in Manhattan. And our goal is to sort of, you know, make the game more accessible, affordable to young kids that can't otherwise afford to play this game. And so she's obviously a total breath of fresh air and falls obviously in the footsteps, Serena, Venus. And this is, you know, huge for our sport. Now we need a couple of guys instead of playing football or basketball to also play tennis. And then we'll be in business and maybe start seeing males start to win instead of Djokovic doing his Tom Brady imitation and winning every damn major <laughs> tournament. Unbelievable. John, do you get to a few Jets games uh, each year? I, I mean, um, I know you're traveling with broadcasting and whatnot, but you try to get to a home game or two? You know, football is an incredible game to watch on TV. Uh, so most of the time I'm watching on TV, I get to listen to you guys. It's probably the best sport to watch. Uh, more than any other one, but I you know, was friends and friends with the Hesses when they owned it, so I used to go to a fair amount of games way back when. Been to a couple games since Woody Johnson's taken over. But, you know, if there Woody go, Johnson John. had there hair right now, there we go. Interception. Your defense, your defense is going to keep you in this game. You guys John. have been dogging Zach Josh Wilson. It's, it's his third year. <laughs> Jo jo Josh Allen told me he was going to be patient tonight, Eli, not force the deep throw. He lied to me. He lied to me. I, I mean, that was a force. Like a punt. Nobody was like open. A punt. Let's it's talk like a more punt. about, let's talk a little more Jets uh, when we come back. All right, we're back here. Oh, we got a tweet. My daughter just asked, are these guys brothers or are they father and son? Yes. Yes, Dodge, uh, Dodge, Jason. I love that. Obviously, what does that mean? What does that mean dad, dad, Peyton. I don't know what that AK means. Dad. If you, it, it means that Peyton looks 25 years older than me. God, to the house. Look at this. For 90. Look at this. For 90. Come on, baby. For 90. Come on, baby. Run. Oh, he's not in shape. He's not in shape. He's he's oh, just no. coming back. He didn't have the burst. How about someone Reese block Hall. him? God, I think they should run that play every play the rest of the game. They run it twice. He got 40 yards on the first play and he went for 65 right there, John. What do you think? Hey, John, we're in the red zone here. Eli, Ooh. Ooh. give him a little heads up. See if he's got a prediction here. 
All right, John. Yeah, we got last a new, time in the red zone. We got a new thing called the perfect well, <laughs> prediction panel. So you got to guess when the Jets. First off, do you think the Jets are going to score a touchdown? How do you think it's going to happen? You got to give us a prediction. Run, pass, pass to Garrett Wilson. What do you think here? I, I, I believe it's going. I believe it's going to be a run. Aaron Rodgers guarantee me he pass. When I interviewed him, <laughs> here's the problem: he's not in the game. Right. <laughs> I think just run it, right? The run, the runs have been working for them. So that's your prediction. You're saying they're going to run. Dalvin Cook, Reese Hall just Cook, ran. You know, bring in the seventy yards. The he old a breather. Packer. Yeah. Yeah. So, Let me right, ask you a, a question. Would you, let's go. You two, would you have given up on Zach Wilson? Because you know, two years, everyone's dumping on him. He's a stiff. He's a bum. You know, but it seemed like it makes sense to have him, you know, understudy under Aaron Rodgers. But now here he is again. They're ready to toast him. Well, we're, we're going to see what type of understudy he was. We'll see what Aaron was working with him during training camp and what kind of coach. They said Aaron was like a coach during training camp with all the players. Let's see how he coached up the guy in the quarterback room with Zach Wilson. So right here, big third down play. I think they will have to throw it here. Let's see if he can, you know, make something happen. What he can do is run some. If they drop in zone, Paige, he yeah. can run and make some plays. He can run. But like, let's get field goal for sure. Let's don't force it, Zach. If Garrett Wilson's not open, let's, let's throw it away. Right, John? we got to get the points here. Gotta right, he gave some points. signals there, Pate. Uh, he's, been, he's been watching Rodgers. Gave us signals. They dropped eight. And he's going uh, to run it. No, no, no. Uh, oh, all right, okay. good throw away. Good yeah. throw away. <laughs> it was a late throw away. He did not want to throw it away. That's what got him in trouble the first time, John. He can run around. He can make plays, which is an advantage. But the the you know for him, Eli and I could, never could run at all. So we knew to throw it away right there. Like you shouldn't even take that hit. He was thinking about forcing one uh, there on the sideline. So I'm holding my breath. I like the field goal. Um, yeah, it's a tough situation to come in. Rodgers took the majority of reps in training camp, especially with the starters. So it's not like Zach could feel comfortable. So is it fair that he got dumped on? Hey, you know playing in New York, nothing's fair about the New York media, right? Both of you guys know that, right, E? I, I, love, I love when you react to, you know, a quarterback who's maybe making a bad play. I love clock management, and I love quarterback stressful moments right there, the, the sigh of relief. All right, welcome back. We got a 3-3 score here. A nice uh, big run play to set up a field goal for the Jets. We still got the great John McEnroe with us talking a little ball. John, uh, you know, we saw, we mentioned earlier, you got to interview uh, Aaron Rodgers. And we asked ESPN why they chose you to do a sit down with the guy who really doesn't <laughs> like to be interviewed that much. And they actually sent us your audition tape. And when after this kickoff, uh, we'll get to watch the audition tape and, and ask a few questions about it. So, we'll be able to show it here in a second. The question! The question, jerk! <laughs> did, you, did you use that same tactic when interviewing Aaron? You know, I thought discretion is the better part of valor at this point in my life. You know, that was a, quite a few years ago. and. Um, I guess that's why I'm talking to you guys. I mean, unbelievable. You know, I said you cannot be serious once in my career, and I doesn't have a day go by where people don't come come up to me and say that. So awesome. That's all I can say. I can't believe. It. You didn't call. You didn't call Aaron a jerk. So that's good. That's good. Nice play there. I didn't call nice him a jerk. I had Jets. very high hopes. He. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. Finish. Hey. I, 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 he, he made me a believer. I mean, he actually, he just had this energy and aura that I was so into because obviously, um, you know, I'm a long-suffering fan, you know, waiting. I idolized Joe Namath growing up. I was 10 years old when they won the Super Bowl. I thought this was going to happen fairly regularly. You know, I thought that the New York City is the greatest city in the world. And lo and behold, I had to become... I don't spread this around. A little bit of a Giants fan, too. Eli, Ooh. do you remember Ooh. when you were on my talk show 20, 20 years ago? Uh, you were a yes. rookie. You weren't even playing that. I don't even know if you remember. I remember. 
Yes, no doubt. I thought I thought you were a Giants fan then. So I was surprised when I didn't see you with these Jets hats all the time. It hurt my feelings a little bit. I, I, I was a big LT fan. I mean, he, he made me, you know, become way more interested in the 80s. And so I became a little bit of a Fairweather fan. I've got to be honest. But let me ask you, like, you, you one more question. Is it true, my wife sang The Warrior, and there's a rumor that you used to play that song before you before the game to pump you up. So I've got to ask you, my wife, Patty Smythe, I love her. She, I've been with her 29 years. Got to know whether that's true or not. Yes, it is true, but it's only because in high school, Peyton used to drive me to school, and every single day on the way to school for four straight years, he listened to Scandal featuring Patty Smythe Yes. The Warrior. And so, bang, Peyton. Bang, bang. Sing it, baby. Sing it, Peyton. Warrior. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And our there Jeep Cherokee Wagoneer. Eli didn't say a word. He was a mute. He didn't talk. He was a seventh grader. <laughs> I was a senior in high school. Warrior got me fired up every single day to go to school. No doubt about yelled it. At me. You yelled at me when, I, when you interrupted. I interrupted you singing you know, the main chorus to the warrior, you just yell at me. It's like, this is the best part. Don't talk to me during this part. So, yes. John, so. John, and John, we did a little research now. I mean, you talked about your love of football. You chose tennis over football. We have a picture of you from your junior varsity football team we want to show after this third and two. This is going to be a run play, by the way. Okay. Quarterback run, 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 run. Thank you. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. All right, let's see this picture, John. Junior varsity. There we go. Number oh, is 12. Is that a bowl cut? Is that a bowl cut? Don't name it. It's a, it's a little bit of a bowl cut. And, you know, I number 12, I mean, what more could I ask for? I took a hit. I couldn't breathe. Wind knocked out of me. Coaches grabbing me. Get up. I thought I was. it was over for me. Life was done as we know it at 14. And I decided when I came home, I said, Mom and Dad, maybe I should play soccer. Or tennis. Hell of a lot safer. So I think I made the right decision, but I got great respect for you guys. No question about it. Oh, 100% the right decision. 100% the right decision. Yeah. We've seen you. Uh... All right, we got well, a little sideline update. Reporter, sideline yes. reporter uh, Libby Dunn just reported us that uh, x rays are negative, right, Eli? X rays are negative. negative. He is it's out of ankle. the game. He is out of the, out of game, the game, though. John. So, out of the game, John. He's not coming back. He's not, he's not going to be limping back for this game. Well, we lost the battle, but we win the war, hopefully. Hopefully he's only out for, a, you know, this game, <laughs> dare I say. Although it might be a couple games because you know this, Peyton. It's hard to stay healthy as you get older as a football player. I'm guessing. I don't know how in the world. You did it as long as you did. Eli, you did it a long time as well. You played 220 consecutive games or some crazy number. Or was it more than that? Uh, and Brady's 45. 212. That, that is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Man. I mean, I mean, Rodgers has been pretty much the Iron Man of Green Bay, so this is kind of a... This is kind of a shock to everybody. Nice throw on the dagger route. Dagger route, right? Deep in route, 18-yard break-in route coming across. Tight How's window. That not a spike? How's that different from the spike route earlier? What's the difference? It's really the same thing. Uh, you know, I, I played in some different offenses. We changed the language a little bit. I try to speak to all the people. Uh, the, the concept is the slots run in the clear. The outside guys coming in an end route. It's a tight window, John, into the red zone. Do the Bills score here, John? A touchdown? If so, runner pass. What do you think? Pass. Josh Allen to Diggs. Okay. Josh Allen to Diggs. I like it. I, this he will put him on this. To get on the prediction board. He wants to get it. I get it. I like this. Hey, prediction. by the way, Peyton. Like by the way, Peyton. Let me tell you. He's coming out though. Let me tell you. Oh well, that doesn't help. But let me. <laughs> asking Josh Allen to be conservative. Is like asking John McEnroe and Nick Kyrgios to behave themselves on the tennis court. Okay, so <laughs> fat chance that's going to happen. It's not in, it's not in his DNA. It's he not told in his me DNA he was going to try. No. He told me he was going to try. He was going to be patient, but he told me. <laughs> now, doesn't mean he has to actually do it. I haven't seen, I wonder, Peyton. I, mean, I, I try to behave myself on the tennis court. 
They haven't called any quarterback runs, Pate. You know, that's something they haven't called. You know, but, yeah. Um, John, what do we got here? Let's watch it here. Oh, yeah. nice form, John. Throwing oh, yeah. the racket. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You've been called. Nice finish. Hey, don't miss the third yeah. down play. Here oh, we here go. Here we go. Third There's Diggs. All right. He said Diggs. He liked, John liked Diggs in the slot. You sticking with it, John? You staying with it? And Diggs. Yes. I'm, I'm going, sticking I'm with it. I'm saying Josh Allen run here. He's going to run. He's looking left. Oh, there's run. He's got Diggs. He's run. got Diggs on the scramble. Run. He's going to run. He's going to run. Come oh, on. he throws it. Back and roll. Yes. Did he cross the line of scrimmage? Absolutely not. That's a touchdown. Put McEnroe on the board. <laughs> oh, he's going on the board. The first perfect. First I didn't, want, the I didn't perfect want to win for that. Prediction <laughs> panel. Look at that. Look at that. That's a good. That's a good pick. Why did I get that right, John? Why did I get that right? That's not the team he was hoping was going to score, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh oh. The officials are discussing uh, discussing this. They're discussing. They're under review. I do not want to have to take this picture off the board. No. That would Once be it's terrible. up there, John, it's up there. You can't take it off. Once your face is up there. Did he go over the line of scrimmage? I, they were I called on the it. one. They were on the two. They weren't on the one. I want to say like the I want to get taken it off the board. Has been confirmed. <laughs> it's a touchdown. They, they confirmed it, right? Uh, touchdown. Touchdown. You you're on the you board forever, Wimbledon. John. They're not going to take, not gonna take, your, you know, take <laughs> your picture off the trophy. It's up there forever, John. <laughs> Great prediction. Oh, Great prediction. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was exhausting. What a drop on the play. John, stay run. with us here. He's going to run, and then he had Diggs. Great job by Diggs. Working to him, he worked to the quarterback. Welcome back. This fan's excited. John's on the board. He's, he's not happy about it being a Bills touchdown, but I like it. These guys like it. John, you mentioned earlier your Giants uh, – uh, connection. You actually worked out with the Giants special teams 20 years ago. We have a little video here. We want to show in a second. I want to know how many takes it took you before you actually made one of these. Let's uh, let's roll the video uh, right here. Oh yeah. Nice. What was yeah. it for? Um, that was the uh, what it was it? Two or three, I believe. I don't think it was too bad. You know, the, I believe that was an extra point. Um, it seemed a lot farther than it looks on TV. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, you know, I did play a lot of soccer as a kid, so I thought I could handle it no problem. But these kickers are better than I thought. <laughs> John, on, on, uh, on your show, McEnroe's Places, uh, you and your brother Patrick actually played Peyton and Wes Welker in a doubles tennis match. Uh, let's first take a look at uh, Peyton and Wes's uh, outfits right here. Uh, were you intimidated when they walked out looking like Borg and Lindell? And then were you immediately less intimidated when you saw Peyton actually swing a racket? <laughs> exactly. You know, when oh, exactly. I first saw them, I was like, it brought back these bad memories of Lendl down in Australia and God. Borg at Wimbledon. And the next thing I know, they start swinging and they barely were hitting the ball. So I, I you know, my brother and I got a whole lot more calm after that. But uh, thanks for doing that, Peyton. I love your show. And because of that, I got psyched up to do a tennis's version of that. And the idea of trying to give a little historical historical perspective to my sport uh i appreciate the opportunity so thank you well you bet you've been killing it everybody's been enjoying it uh maybe you get eli on the one day eli plays a little more pickleball than tennis so i'm not sure he's worthy of being on McEnroe's places but maybe pickleball well we can show we can show oh, some skills of my pickleball Please if no. we want you can analyze i can send you i'll send it over john i'll send you some some video of my pickleball you can analyze it I, a lot of people just call me just a natural athlete. Uh, oh, that was not a, that was not an natural 
pass. Staring at him, John. You can't stare. Please, you can't stare. Eli, you can know don't. you're throwing please to the guy, don't. but you can't stare at him. You got to look left. And and he's come trying back. to hit this over route. He's trying to hit this over route. Do they have another oh, cornerback? Oh, nice finger. The There's a finger. Eli, you see that guy? You see that guy was giving the bird that looked like you. Yeah, yeah he only um, gave one, Pate. I do double. I, I mean, I'm, I'm raising it up a notch. But he's I mean, trying to hit this over route, Peyton, and he's, he, he, he kind of threw it behind him also. He's got to throw this a little more air, a little bit more arc. There was a little window there, but he didn't After make, the play was over, right unsportsmanlike Wait, conduct taunting. Number 58 of the intercepting team. 15-yard penalty, first down. There's, there's, there's no window, by the way. Eli. There's three guys around him. They were, they were taking turns to see which one wanted to intercept it. There's no window. But just, yeah. Sorry, John. Sorry, pal. Oh, All right, here's the play right here, John. You know, right here, they're going to have some, a couple of shallow crossings. they got a deep over, but you can look right here. You have this linebacker here, this shallow route. If the linebacker jumps him, you'll have this window right here. But you can look at this linebacker. He just stays back. He's dropping back. You hit Lazard. Lazard is wide open. Bam. You take five, six yards, go right there. But he tries to force it. Bad decision right there by Wilson. Get the turnover. Again, they're playing zone. They're dropping deep. You got to find ways just to find completions and move the ball. Hey, I, it's a bad decision by the Jets to ask this guy to do anything right now. Everyone's in a state of shock. I agree. The entire Jets roster, including all the fans, myself included, run the ball and try to get to halftime somewhat close and try to regroup here. Couldn't have, couldn't have said it better myself. You cannot be serious. That was the best thing I've heard. John and Eli next week. You don't need me. That was exact. Just run the ball. 10-3. I'll take 10-3. I'll take 10-3. Now we get John a chance to predict another Bills touchdown. I want two pictures of McEnroe on the prediction panel here in a minute. Oh, we got a holding penalty. You can, oh. John, you can predict the stop Ooh. also. You could be like Jets, stop them once we get in the red. You can, you can root for your team. You, you know. Okay, thank no, you. Okay, there's no then rules here. There's no rules. Go that direction. There's no foul yeah. for holding on the play. Thank you. No we need to see a little bit of what happened yeah. yesterday Hopefully. to the Giants. Oh, uh, there we go. And, you know, these <laughs> incredibly bad Beautiful. plays that turn into touchdowns Beautiful. for the other team. You know, we Shots unbelievable. Fired. Shots fired. This is one of those days, Peyton, when you wake up and I'm like, I'm glad I don't play quarterback. Anymore Ooh. after you, know, you see a guy get <laughs> sacked no seven times. It's a little, it's a little twelve hits. It's a little, it's a little chilly in Denver this morning too. I'm not gonna lie, a little chilly. <laughs> now we only lost by one, right? We didn't lose by forty like you guys did. So uh, hey, you know that's the worst game I've seen in New York at a stadium since I went to your Colts Jets playoff game in the old Giants Stadium, and I saw y'all <laughs> lose. 41 nothing, I believe. Nice we only lost 40 nothing, wow. so that was nice the transition. second worst game this is, I had yeah. seen. Two so. it's completely, completely irrelevant, but uh, completely irrelevant why, why you brought hey, that game up, but thank you. John. John, can't thank you, you so enough. Much. You're the best. Thanks Come back anytime, right, guys. Appreciate it. All Thanks right. very much. Good luck this year. Thank Thanks, you. Pal. All the best.